Hey everyone, Paul with ConvertingCopy.com and today I'm going to show you very quickly how to create a table in WordPress. Now, a couple weeks ago I actually made a post on comparing five top web hosting companies with one another and I demonstrated and displayed that information in a table format. I think it's easy to differentiate between uh, comparisons and stats when you use a table so you could use a graphics program like Illustrator or Photoshop but that's not going to be text you know that could be good for Google image ranking but what I like to do is create a table in WordPress to display that information so I can still have the uh, the keywords and everything within that table and have that extra content on my page. So I can also create an image from that table which I will mention at the end of this video but uh, someone asked me actually which is why I'm doing this video how I created that table. So it's very easy to do in WordPress. There are a number of plugins which you can use. Just search for table and I use easy table. It's the first one listed right here as of the time of this video and it's pretty simple. You just type in the uh, the data that you want to display, and it goes in there. So <clears throat> you can choose from a number of these different tables plugins. I can't recommend them, but I can recommend Easy Table because I've used it. So once you install it, you can go to the settings of that plugin, and you can change a few different settings, like the maximum table width, which it will take up in your post or page, you know, the, the text sections of those types of pages and other things like that, like the uh, alignment default for that table and everything like that. So you can mess with all of that and once you're set, just click on uh, add a new post or page and what we do is rather than having a pointer click, we just add in the, the data manually, kind of like we're coding but it's very simple. So we just put in the table tag right there and then we put in the data that we want. So each one of these uh, in the first row is separated by a comma. As you can see, this is taken from my hosting uh, post comparison. So you can see first I have the name. I have GoDaddy, HostGator, Fat Cow, Namecheap, and Just Host. And they're all separated by a comma, which will indicate that these are different columns. And then when we hit enter and come down to the next row, that is just that. It will create the next row. So in this first uh, column, we're going to have the uh, basically the operating terms of each of these rows. And then in the top column, we have the operating for each of the columns, just like a normal table. So it's all very straightforward. So we have name aligning with year founded in the first column, GoDaddy aligning with 1996, HostGator in 2002, and so on. So once we have all the information we want, we can just keep on going down with adding information just like that. And you can do this in the visual or HTML. It's going to come out the same way. And then just put in that closing table tag. Click Preview or Publish, and it'll show you what that's going to look like right now. And there you go. We have the first column in bold, which is good to differentiate that. And then I can also make this, uh, this first column all bold since we're probably going to want to draw attention to these different operating terms. But yeah, we have the year founded. We have GoDaddy and 96. We have HostGator for 02, FatCow98, and so on. So it's a very simple way to do just that. And then once you're done making that table, uh, something which I like to do is I just take a screenshot of that post or of the uh, the table itself, you know, just click print screen or whatever, load that into Photoshop or whatever graphics editor you have, and paste it in there, and then just save it, and then you can use that as like your featured post image, and then you can still rank for that uh, particular keyword in Google Images. So you have the image of your table, and you have the table itself with the textual data. So very simple. I recommend using the Easy Table plugin. And uh, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time.